Welcome back to Let's Play Darksiders 3. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm going to go pick a fight with that guy. But before I do, I'm going to open this door so I can come back to this room easier, I think. Freedom. Hmm. The red aura, I believe, associates with... Th thorns. I thought it was wrath. No, that's yellow. Mind you, the last guy was... had a black aura, and he seemed to have way more health than usual. All I know is that, uh, if you fight... this guy... Wait, the Undying Shard. I could use that to beat the Warden. Uh, not yet. I'll return later. And beat him into the ground like a bad monkey. Unimpressive. Secretly, I'm relieved. But don't tell anyone that. Oh, this one's an angel. Nice. Chaos enhancement. Not what I was expecting to find next to an angel. Enhancements can be socketed into a weapon. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Plus 1% damage from this weapon returned as health. Ooh, I like it. Unfocused chaos. 1% damage. Uh, hmm. Do I want to put this on the whip or my fire weapon? You can't just take it back out, so... Okay! Oh, right, I can't check the menu to see how to upgrade it, because you can only do that while you're talking to... Vul uh, not Vulgrim, to, uh... Ulthane. Uh... You know, I would say thank you for that, but, uh... I've got a bone to pick with the angels right now, so... Go fuck yourself. What? There were angelic spears sticking out of Rampage. You think I didn't notice that detail? I think I mentioned that one before. Somewhere out there is an angel that deserves to die. Oh, it's a bomb bug. Odd to find you down here. I'm gonna beat you into the ground. Wait! I have just had a thought. Yeah, 1% damage from this weapon. It, oh. This actually does less damage than, uh... Shit. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that! Ah, well, it's out now. I was, uh, trying to turn off the thing, because I noticed I still had the claws. Why didn't it work? Can I just... yeah, I can just switch them without turning the thing off and on again. Okay, I guess I just didn't do it right. My bad. But I did that. And I... I was holding down the, uh, the left bumper to try and turn off the, uh... 
The thing is, you need to hold it for a second or two in order to do that. And while I was doing that, he came at me, and I try I pressed the right bumper to try and dodge. Wait, did I put nothing on this? No, I did not. Okay, let's see what we've got. Hi there. They have such tiny heads. Oh no, that whole area down there is its head. No! You forced me to kill the bug! Or you made me kill the bug by accident, really. And I still... YOU KILLED THE BUG! Now you're really asking for it, you big fuck! I will grab your heart and throw it away. Uh huh. Oh, I see! Easy as pie. Then why would I need to do this in the first place? I mean, it doesn't work if I just throw him, right? No, it doesn't. I'm a dope. Okay. I need to borrow you for just a second. Okay, I need to get you. Too high this time. Oh, piss. Ah, oh, hell! Shit! Oh, good. Oh! Oh, good. They thought of that. I thought I fucked myself. He's not heavy enough. Okay, because I think I could hit it if I did this. Yeah. I don't know what the point of any of this one is at all, actually. Hey, item. Have I not been in there? Oh, I guess not. Because it's a dead end. Okay. I fi figure if I burn that one, then this will fall and I can turn him into a bomb. I figure if I burn that one while this thing is turned around, maybe it will, you know, do the thing? I think it turns too quickly for me to even make that an option. No, it's completely done by the time the fire gets up there. Okay. Can I just... No. Why 
What I wouldn't give for that boomerang thing warhead. Okay. Wait, what if I did that? If I just okay, oh, those fireballs set it off. Yes. I agree. Curses. That's why I hold down Y in midair. And oh, oh, hey! I missed a, uh, a detail before. I got good news, little guy. Are you horrible little th bug you? Oh boy. Um I have just realized I still don't know how to do this. He doesn't follow you once the food is down. And I can't run over there and grab him. B. Okay, no, that didn't work. I didn't think it would. Holy shit. Ah, what I need is the Bolt of Scorn, so I can just fire a fucking crossbow into that thing. <laughs> bolt of Scorn. Yeah, that's not going to work. And if I pick him up, he'll just explode! Fuck is the point. Maybe I have to hit that. There sure are a lot of you guys. No, no way. That's definitely not it. Um. I just wanted that to burn, frankly. Oh, there you are. That was pretty. I just wanted to see that, to be honest. Oh, right. I knew that. Shut up. Okay, fuck. I'll just drop you off at the bomb thing instead of going somewhere funny, because I've just realized you can't get him out of this area. Right, yes, I forgot about that. Are you kidding me? There's a candle right there, you guys. Huh. 
Huh. I didn't actually do that right. Okay, now he's a bomb, and now it'll work. Because he wasn't even in position before. I am remarkable. Shout out to a whole bunch of people, by the way, who left comments on the very first video, saying that the... what do they call it? The Riddle of Soros? Seems to be a reference to a uh, philosophical conundrum called the problem of evil. I knew that. Shut up. It's uh, a religious thing. You've probably heard the question, even if you hadn't heard the name. I know I had. Uh, the uh, thing is basically that God is supposed to be all-knowing, all-powerful, and 100% benevolent. You know, purely good. But evil exists, and bad things happen to good people. So, uh, the conundrum is that, going by the available evidence, this would seem to suggest either that God does not know that evil is happening in the universe, in which case he is not all-knowing, God knows about the evil, but he can't stop it from happening, in which case he's not all-powerful. Or God knows about the evil, can stop it, but chooses not to, in which case he is not purely good. I'm gonna level with you guys. I don't know if that's really what the, uh, the Riddle of Soros was about. It kind of goes beyond that with the question of if, you know, evil is part of the grand design, does that not make evil in and of itself divine? Why did you have that? Whatever. I was hoping that would set them on fire. Oh, my organs! Yeah, 1% healing isn't gonna be great, whatever happens, so, uh... You have to realize that every enemy in this game hits like a fucking freight train. I don't remember Death taking a pounding like this, and he was shirtless. I see what I meant to do, I'm just curious about the window. Okay, what about you? Oh, right, this isn't the red stuff that grows back. I thought I thought, it, I thought it was going to be cool when I step in here and the stuff grows back, but... Eh. Do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> oh, yes.
And there is the timer. What remarkable timing. I guess that is what a timer does. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Darksiders 3 when we find out what happens when I place this sword in its rightful place. Later.